Get ready to enter the next level of storytelling with Figma Slides. Figma Slides helps you and your team co-create stunning presentations that bring your audience into the conversation. Insert designs and prototypes from Figma Design. Co-create and present confidently with collaboration and presentation tools. And use live interactions to gather stakeholder feedback before your presentation even ends. No matter your skill level, Figma Slides makes it easy to build beautiful presentations on your own or with others using professionally designed templates. Prefer a more tailored approach? Create reusable templates using the Figma design tools you already know and love, so your team never has to start from a blank canvas again. In this video, we'll take a tour around the Figma Slides editor so you can start creating your own presentations. Let's go! Figma Slides is currently in beta and is available to anyone with the Figma account. Because it's a beta, keep in mind that things may change. Visit our help center to stay up to date on the latest product updates. All you need to do to join the beta is create your first slide deck. Decks are a new file type that live alongside your Figma design files and FigJam boards in the file browser. You can tell decks apart from these other file types by the deck icon. Click the new slide deck button to get started. When you first open a new deck, you'll see the template picker. Figma Sites comes preloaded with a collection of professionally designed templates for any type of presentation. Each template includes a variety of page layouts to make deck creation a breeze. When you find a template you love, click Use Template to add it to your deck. Torn between multiple templates? No worries. You can mix and match page layouts from different templates to customize your deck exactly how you want. Simply double click on the page layout to add a new slide with the layout to your deck. My team is working on a pitch for our latest product idea. Luna, my team's product manager, just shared the deck with me. Oh, it looks like Luna is busy working on a few things. Let's say hi using cursor chat before we take a tour around the Figma Slides editor. The editor consists of four main areas, the canvas, the left and right sidebars, and the toolbar. We'll start with the canvas. This is where your slide deck lives. The canvas offers two views, slide view and grid view. You can change the view using the toggle in the corner. Slide view gives you a focused look at a single slide, allowing you to fine tune your designs and add presenter notes. Grid view gives you a bird's eye view of the canvas so you can organize your deck and ensure that your narrative is both powerful and concise. To move around the canvas, hold space while clicking and dragging your cursor, or slide two fingers on your trackpad in any direction. You can also press H to enable the hand tool, which lets you move around the canvas without selecting anything. To zoom in or out, pinch two fingers together or stretch them apart on your trackpad. You can also hold down the keyboard shortcut and scroll up or down on your mouse. Next, we have the left side bar. Similar to grid view on the canvas, the left side bar lets you add new slides and organize your deck. You'll notice that if you click and drag a slide under an existing slide in the left side bar, it will be added to a slide group. Slide groups are useful for breaking up sections of a presentation by speaker or for keeping large decks organized by topic. Moving on, let's talk about the design and animation tabs of the right side bar. The design tab houses the tools you'll use to modify objects in your slides. When you select an object on the canvas, the formatting properties available for that object type display in the right side bar. For example, if I select this text layer, the options to change the font, text size, and alignment display. While we're here, this slide is a little wordy. Let's use the Adjust Tone AI feature to make things a bit more concise. Much better. Here is also where you can change a slide's template style. Template styles are a set of attributes, like color palette, typography, and spacing, that are pre-configured when you add a template to your deck. If you add multiple templates to your deck, you'll have multiple styles to choose from. Select a style from the drop-down menu or click Shuffle to shuffle through color options for the slide's current style. Next to the Design tab is the Animation tab. Here's where you can insert transitions between slides to keep your presentation flowing smoothly. You can apply different transitions to individual slides or select one and add it to the entire deck. Finally, let's talk about the toolbar. Use these tools to add text, insert images and shapes, and leave comments for your collaborators. One thing that sets Figma slides apart is the live interactions and Figma prototypes you can add to slides. When you share your slide deck, your audience will be able to interact during or after your presentation. Let's add a prototype of our design to give stakeholders a realistic demo of how it will look 
and add a poll to see what subject they're most excited to learn about. We'll see how this works later in the video. You may have noticed the design mode toggle in the toolbar. If you have a full seat for Figma design, you can enable design mode to access Figma design features like auto layout, layout grids, and advanced properties right in Figma slides. These tools give you more control over slide layouts and properties to help you dig into the details and customize slides to your exact specifications. To learn more about how seats work in Figma, see the Help Center article linked in the description. Now that we're familiar with the editor, let's talk collaboration. Remember when we saw Luna working on some slides earlier? Well, because Figma Slide supports multiplayer, you and your team can work together on the same canvas in real time. Send quick messages to collaborators using cursor or audio chat, or drop a comment to leave async feedback. I'll leave a comment here letting Luna know that I changed the text on this slide. Our deck is ready to present. Before I start presenting, I'm going to share the presentation link with my stakeholders so that they can interact with the prototype and poll I added. Since my slides contain presenter notes, I'm going to open my presentation with presenter notes visible. This opens my deck in a new tab, so I never have to worry about staying on track. I want to keep everyone on the same page, so I'm going to spotlight myself. That way, the audience will always know which slide I'm currently on. If you're presenting with a group, you can share the spotlight with others so no one ever has to say, next slide, again. To progress through the deck, use the left and right arrow keys. Let's play our prototype to give everyone a demo of what we want to build. Looks great. Remember that poll that we dropped in earlier? Well, now our audience can become part of the presentation and make their voices heard. Looks like everyone is excited about our pitch. We hope you're as excited for Figma Slides as we are. As a beta participant, feel encouraged to play around and try new things. We want to hear about your experience. Drop a comment letting us know which feature you can't wait to use. Be sure to visit our Help Center page to stay up to date on the latest product news and like and subscribe for more Figma Slides content. See you again soon!